Okay, so we're going to use that uh, fundamental counting principle again for this one to find the total possible outcomes for rolling a number cube three times. Okay, so we have three different, different events. Okay, the, just the three different times you're going to be rolling the number cube. And um, the first, so let's say uh, number cube, so we're going to say first. Okay, because it's going to be well three times. So the first time, the second time, and the third time. Now, the first time, the first time we roll it, how many different options are there? How many different possible outcomes for just that first time you roll the number cube is going to be six, right? Because the number cube has six sides, and each side has a different number. So we have di six different possible numbers that can show up uh, within our first roll, right? Now within the second roll, how many options do we have there? We also have six, right? And then for the third, we also have another six because there's six different numbers. So to find the um, possible number of outcomes, we know that we have to do m times n, right? That's if you have two events. In this case, we have three events. So we just multiply all three together. So we can just label this as M, this as N, and the third one, whatever you want, P. So we're going to do times P. So it's going to be 6 times the 6. So 6 times 6 is 36. And then we're going to multiply this by? Six. This is 36. Six times three is 18. Uh, 21. So there are 600, or I'm sorry, 216 different possible outcomes when you roll the number cube three times. And um, a couple, just to just to list out a couple. The first time you roll it, you can get you can roll a two, right? The second time you roll it, you can roll out a one. Second time, the third time you roll it, you can roll out, let's say, a one, right? So that's just one of the 216 different possible outcomes, okay? So my answer is 216. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching Educator.com.